I would have you ask my lawyer to make just a brief statement about that. Okay, I press you, my lady. My lady, the issue before the Honorable Universal Select Committee is a national issue of considerable gravity. And uh, the objections that have been raised with a tremendous respect to my land, land friend, they do trivialize what has been placed before. And uh, I argue very respectfully, saluted member, the elected, the members of the committee, that my land friend would have to be controlled. Otherwise, we will be able to dispose of the matter before you within the timelines that have been given at all. If I may very respectfully refer you to the Constitution, which my land friend is uh, relying on, and which he has been emphasized very much, Your Honor, if you if you look at Article 1, Article 1, sub Article, yeah, Article 1, sub Article 1, says sovereignty of the people. All sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya and shall be exercised only in accordance with this constitution. And the two, which is perhaps more important than what I will read to you, the people may exercise their sovereign power either directly or through their democratically elected representatives. It is now democratically elected representatives who are seized of this matter. And they cannot be controlled or the issues that are before the court, or before this, this uh, select committee, cannot be washed or swept under the carpet by raising trivial objections at all. It's my observation that you have a role, my young friend. We don't have to waste time. And in doing so, you'll be guided by the able ruling that was delivered by our speaker um, on 30th April 2024, two years before. Uh, I don't wish to waste most of your time or much of your time at all. I would prefer that uh, we get on with the job so that you will reason. Uh, the time right and we are able to proceed with the matter before you. Finally, I may point out that uh, my only friend, from what I can see, is trying really to buy time so that uh, we do not finish this matter within the stupid time right we have been given. Thank you, Mr. Madam Chair. Out of curiosity, if indeed the minister is innocent, why is he worried about the witnesses? This is a matter of national interest, as my lawyer said. If indeed you are innocent, Kenyans want to know. Could be someone is trying to bring witch hunt to the minister. Let us be allowed to bring each and everybody who will set him free. The jury is in the public. When a minister relax, let's get Kenya's Honorable Amboka, we are just beginning the process and uh, please do not rush to the conclusion and uh, limit yourself to the time that we have given you and may I also uh, advise all the other parties to 
are there to the time allocated during the hearing and also the witnesses that uh, should not, that they cannot go outside time allocated to each party. Again, it is important to note that the, that the witnesses' submission must fit within the time allocated. If we respect that, then we'll be able to conclude in, on time. Uh, now, I, I would want to take this time to give the ruling as per the requests that uh, both the parties made last evening. Honorable members, given the constitution timeline within which the committee must conclude this process, the detailed rationale behind the decision on the preliminary issues and questions will be elucidated in the committee's final report. Having said this, on the preliminary issues that the affidavit is defective, we have overruled the preliminary objection having looked at Article 152.7 of the Constitution and Standing Orders 47.4a, 64, and 66. Number two, it is not worthy that it is the exclusive authority of the Speaker of the National Assembly to determine the question of admissibility of a proposed special motion for dismissal of cabinet secretary, a matter that was already determined. We are now at the stage of investigation by the committee. The question of admissibility having been determined by the speaker. Number three, consequently, I direct that committee shall proceed to hear the matter and discharge its mandate as required under Article 152.7 of the Constitution. Number four, as stated earlier, we shall give a detailed and reasoned ruling in our report on this matter. The question, can we admit new evidence? 